Hello everybody, welcome to another tutorial. It's Rob back again. How are ya? And since going to Spain and recording some vlogs with my GoPro stuff and editing nearly everything in iMovie, I've been getting familiar with iMovie and to be honest, I'm getting more and more impressed with it. And when you think about Premiere Pro and the cost and everything, how good is actually iMovie compared to Premiere Pro? I have used Premiere Pro for a little while. I haven't got it as part of my CC package um, and I can't really justify the price. So I've been using iMovie more and more. And to begin with, you think it's very limiting and it's just not going to be up there with Premiere Pro, which of course it's not. However, it is. it has got lots more stuff and lots more features than I first thought and I wanted to show you just one transition that you can do in iMovie which kind of is very Premiere Pro-esque or After Effects you know it's just a nice transition and I'll show you it now this is a video from one of my vlogs in Spain if you haven't seen it go and check them out so I haven't included this in my final video by the way I've kind of been playing with iMovie afterwards to see how I could have improved on some of my videos. I'm learning all the time so don't be too harsh um, but I'll just show you how to do this transition in iMovie. So obviously for all you Windows users I do apologize this is just an iOS only um, tutorial so I do apologize but watch it anyway because you might learn something. So this is the video from Spain as I said and I put a zoom in transition on the edge of this clip going into this other clip starting on this beach. So I'll play the clip now. So you kind of zoom in. I think it's a really nice transition. Um, a bit different. You've seen it all on a lot of the videos on YouTube and now we can use this in iMovie. So I'll do another transition on another clip to show you exactly how I've done it. So let's transition this end here into this clip here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, now doing this, it is a bit, um, you do have to play with it a little bit. And what we want to do first is cut the clip at the end to about either 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 seconds. Okay. So we're going to go in, we're going to zoom in with command and plus. So usually it's like this. So we're going to zoom in. So command and the plus button. And we're just going to come onto this clip. Now, some it won't let you split it before uh, in lower time, less than 0 0.1. I can't even talk, if you know what I mean. Um, so under 0 0.1, you cannot split the clip. So we're going to try and click on command and B to split the clip and it's not going to let us so I'm going to use the left arrow key until we can split and there you go it's 0 0.1 but I want 0 0.2 so I'm going to just press command and Z to undo that and I'm going to go back a bit more and there we go so 0 0.2 so now we have broken the clip now if we play it, obviously it's going to change, okay, but what we're going to do, we're going to click on this clip to activate the clip, okay, there we go, and then we're going to go up to the crop tool, and we're going to click on Ken Burns. Now we want the end part, so the start on my clip here is at the outside, and we want the end of the clip here, so we're going to click in the middle bit, and we're going to press Shift and Alt and we're going to drag this clip all the way down until it stops. So that has gone right to the middle and that is fully zoomed in. Okay, and that is it. We're going to press on the tick here to commit the changes. So as we go through it, it's going to zoom in here. So let's just play. Okay, but we need the swoosh. So I'm going to show you what I did. So we're going to go into YouTube because in the audio files of iMovie, it doesn't have the swoosh that I like. However, we can get it from YouTube, of course, for free. So let's go into YouTube and 
click on your channel and you can go into the dashboard at the top here and we're going to go all the way down to create where you get all your sound effects and free music we're going to go along to the sound effects we're going to type in swoosh and it's the last one we want not the wood golf club hit ball but the swoosh okay so we click, we're going to hear that click on the play so there are a number of other swooshes which are not what we want no we don't want that one so it's the last one and I've already downloaded it so I don't need to do it again so let's just go back into iMovie so this is a swoosh at the top so we can play that and we're going to drag that down onto our timeline and then we just need to play a little bit with the swoosh to get the sound effect that we want so let's just see what that does and that's not bad just a little bit long so let's just bring that back this way so we're going to cut the front of that a little bit so it's too early there so just move it along a little bit and so you just need to Idea. you get the idea guys so that is just a quick way to get a nice transition between two clips the zoom effect uh, from one clip to another you can do different stuff like color match and that kind of stuff and if you're not sure how to do that that's another tutorial for you I might do some more iMovie stuff because I've been finding that I'm actually liking iMovie as bad as that sounds um, I am quite liking it and I am getting used to doing different stuff even you can get the cinematic bars that you can animate to come down onto the screen for some really nice cinematic effects. So if you're interested in different iMovie tutorials, I might do some. I might do some. Let me know in the comments, and I'll do that for you. But thanks for watching. That's all for me for now. Um, that is it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.